Tonight, police are searching for two hit and run drivers in Queens. A man was mowed down in Jackson Heights early this morning, and on Sunday, a father was killed walking to his car in Ridgewood. That's where CBS 2's Allie Bauman is live. She spoke to that victim's family. All new tonight. Allie. Well, Dick and Christine, one of those victims is fighting for his life in the hospital tonight, and the other was hit and killed right here. That victim's daughter told me she wants police to find who did this so that another family does not have to know the pain that she is feeling. He's more than like I can ever ask for in a father. Like he's he's pretty much my rock, and he means like the world to me. Aunt Tran always dreamed her father would walk her down the aisle. Now she's left to plan a wedding without him. He'll be there in spirit, I'm sure. And like I know that he'll be, always be here for us. 74-year-old B. Tran had just finished up his last DoorDash delivery Sunday evening and was heading home to feed his dog. Police say around 7:30, Tran was walking across Myrtle Avenue by Hancock Street in Ridgewood when a black BMW drove into him and drove off. Everything I do is for him, like my work ethics, like everything. Like I work so hard to like be with him and like spend time with him, and it's just like. It's just not fair that, you know, someone like this did that to him. Just four miles away, early Tuesday morning, police say another driver in a dark sedan hit a 45-year-old man on Roosevelt Avenue near 76th Street. We're pausing the surveillance video before impact. Seconds later, the car drove off, leaving the man on the road. We're told the victim is now fighting for his life at the hospital. According to police, hit and runs are down citywide with 25 in the first half of this year compared to 47 in the same time last year. But the data is little comfort to the families left behind. You would never think that like it would happen to anyone that you know and then when it does like it just hits you all so different. Investigators are asking anyone with information on either incidents to call the NYPD. A spokesperson for DoorDash told us that the company is reaching out to trans family to offer support. And we have more information about how you can help the family at our website, cbsnewyork.com. Tonight we're live in Ridgewood, Queens. Allie Bauman, CBS2 News. Allie, thank you so much.